experiments with water. Now let us do an experiment and find out what floats and what sinks. First, we will take an empty bowl. Let's leave it slowly. Wow! It floats! Let us put some pebbles in it. Amazing! It is still floating. I'll put this iron nail and a match stick too. Wow! It is still floating. Come, let us see with this empty bottle. Oh, it also floats. Let me take this half filled bottle. Oh, it's sinking. Then what about bottle full of water? Let us see. Oh, it is also sinking. It too didn't float. Okay, let us check with soap. Oh no, it also gets into the water. Okay, like Aisha, I'll float this soap. Give me a plastic plate. Yes, now I'll put it in the water. Yes, it is floating. Now, slowly, without disturbing the plate, I'll put the soap on it. Wow, like Aisha, I also made the soap float on water. Hey, there's one more magic waiting for you. Look. When Aisha woke up in the morning, Ami had fever. Abu made some tea and went to give medicines to Ami. He told Aisha, You boil eggs, also put some salt in the water. Aisha took water in a pot. By mistake, she put too much salt in the water. She saw the eggs at the bottom of the pot come up a little and start to float in water. Now let us also do this. Take some water in a glass. Put a lemon in it. Oh, it is not floating. Now keep putting salt in the water half a spoon at a time. Yes, it has started rising. Let me add some more salt. Some more. Yes, it is floating. It's wonderful. This means the more we add salt, the more the lemon starts floating. Have you heard about the Dead Sea? All oceans and seas have salty water. The saltiest of all is the Dead Sea. How salty? Imagine 300 grams of salt in 1 litre of water. Would you be able to even taste such salty water? It would be very bitter. Interestingly, even if a person does not know how to swim, he or she would not drown in this sea. They will float in water as if lying down on it. What dissolved? What did not? On Sunday, Aisha's cousin brother Hamid came to her house to play. As soon as he came, he asked his aunt to make his favorite shakarpara a sweet dish. Ami said, Let me come back from the market, then I will make some for you. Why don't you help me? Take two glasses of water and put a bowl of sugar in it. Mix it till it dissolves. Hamid thought, Let me finish this work fast, then I will watch TV. 
Can you suggest some ways to harm it for quickly dissolving the sugar? Let us see what the best way to dissolve sugar quickly is. Let us take three glasses. In the first one, fill cold water. In the second, let me fill normal tap water. And in the third, I'll fill hot water. Okay, now I'll mix sugar in all three. Oh, it is not mixing easily in cold water. Let me try in the other one. Oh, here too it's taking time. Thank God, finally mixed. Now the third one. Oh, too hot. Let me mix. Wow, it dissolved in a few seconds. This means the best way to dissolve sugar quickly is to mix it in hot water. We'll mix salt in water. Let us see. Here we can see that there is nothing else than water in the glass. This means salt dissolves completely in water. Now I'll mix chalk powder and soil. Now let me put it for some time. Till I mix one spoon milk in water. Oh, it also mixed with water. But what is this? Soil and this chalk powder do not mix in water. They settle down. Now let me try with oil. Aisha and Hamid were also doing the experiment and they had an argument. Aisha felt that after stirring it, the oil dissolved in water. Hamid did not agree. He said, Look, the tiny yellow oil drops can be seen in the water. Aisha said, Let's wait for some more time and then see.